Hello everyone. In this presentation, I am going to demonstrate how to use the Power World Simulator uh, to study the operation of the phase shifting transformer in power system. Before we study the simulation of phase shifting transformer, let us see the use of the phase shifting transformer. Here we can see a double transmission line. It is transmitting power of 530 megawatt power uh, to some part of the power system. Here they are using double transmission line. One is carrying 90 megawatt uh, in which the power is flowing through overhead line. The second one is a 440 megawatt. In, in this uh, line they are using underground cable. Here why this power flow difference happen between the two lines. One is 90, the other one is 440 megawatt. It is because of the reactants present in the line. In the overhead line, the, tra the transmission line reactance is more. In underground cable, it is less. That is why the more power is flowing through underground cable than the overhead line. Now we solve this problem by connecting the PST that is phase shifting transformer where the reactance is low in which we are connecting this PST in series with that line. This after connecting the PST we can see here the power flow is 240 here 290. It is almost manageable and also we can adjust if we adjust precisely this angle we can make equal amount of power practically it is not possible it is a tap changer type of a transformer we cannot get exactly equal amount of power uh, but in a simulation we can study the equal amount of power flow in each line that is the use of this phase shifting trans transformer now in this problem we are taking a model here you can see a generator is connected at this end and it is supplying power to the infinite a bus over a double transmission line the transmission line number one number two number one number two here our problem is how to make the megawatt flow in the double transmission line are equal here you can observe it is 49 in transmission line number one and 81 megawatt in the transmission line number two by adjusting this phase shifting transformer how we can make this power flow are equal this happens because of uh, the reactants difference in the line if the reactants are equal in both the line equal amount of power flow in in uh, in the both the lines but here the line number one is 0.8 line number two is 0.45 that is why this uh, difference happens now we will simulate and see the result using the power world simulator before i do the simulation let me take an, a numerical example and illustrate uh, how this happens in the transmission line here there is a power station it supplies the power of 600 megawatt through double transmission line the line one carries six, 360 megawatt line 2 240 megawatt and both of them are operating at the power angle of 15.8 degree here this uh, uh, difference in power flow happens because of the reactants you can note down here it is 40 the other one is it is a 60 here where the reactance is less the more power is flowing that line is heavily loaded the other one is lightly loaded but this should be solved by connecting PST phase shifting transformer in the line where the reactance is less here by adjusting this alpha angle we can make this del in the line is lesser than del in the line 2 this makes that del equal to 19.9 in common 
and alpha equal to 6.8 you can note down that del in line 1 is 13.1 and del in the line 2 is 19.9 degree this uh, solve our problem the phase shifting transformer now we do verify the result using the power world simulator now we verify our model using the power world simulator go to file choose new case draw network bus in our model we are using three different buses one is at the generator end the other one is at the infinite bus end and the third one is in between the bus 1 and 2 now we connect generator at bus 1 display left now we connect bus between 1 and transmission line between bus 1 and 2 the value of reactance is 0.8 per unit the second transmission line from 1 to 3 it is 0 0.2 per unit the third transmission line from 3 to 2 is 0 0.25 per unit now here the total reactance is 0 0.8 here the total reactance is, is 0 0.45 now we connect a generator at the infinite bus to model it has an infinite bus model now we have to select this bus as a system slack bus now this generator has to supply power I take here delta per mouse click increases 10 10 megawatt now go to add on transient stability options power system model in this no infinite bus I model the four power flow slack bus as infinite bus and we have to note down the what is the power flow happens in each transmission line the megawatt flow now we can run our model go to tools run here we have to increase the power we can observe here the power generated by the generator and it is supplied to the infinite bus the power generated here is 50 megawatt and the power it reaches the infinite bus is also same 50 megawatt but the power flow happens in the first line is 18 and the power flow happens in the second line is 32 here why this uh, difference in power flow it is because of the reactants that we have chosen for our problem the first line having 0.8 the second one having 0.4 or 5 the less reactants uh, in this less reactants more power is flowing the high reactants the less power is of flowing now we can uh, adjust the power flow equally in both the transmission line by connecting the phase shifting transformer 
Now let us do the connection of phase shifting transformer and see the result. Stop. Now we go to edit mode, draw network. We can choose the transformer here. Before we connect transformer, we have to delete this transmission line. Now I connect the transformer between bus 1 and 3. Here the value of the transformer reactance is 0 0.2. Display I make it 5 to visibility. Transformer control change automatic control option. In this we have to choose phase shift control. Here we can note down the minimum phase angle is minus 30, maximum phase angle is plus 30, step size of increase is 2, I can choose here 0 0.5, be ok. Delete. display now we can select uh, the field transformer field here we can choose face shift angle so this delta per mouse click is 0 0.5 click ok here now we run with this go to tools run now here you can see here 19 megawatt power is flowing in the line 1, 31 megawatt power is flowing in line 2. Now we can adjust this. transformer change here minimum phase angle is minus 30 maximum is plus 30 and the step size is 0 0.5 now we can run Just by increasing the phase shifting angle, we can adjust the power flow. You can see here, you can note down the change in the power here 24. Both 24, 24. We can adjust here, it is 0 0.5. Make it here, it's 5 so that the changes happens easily you can note down now you can see here 25 megawatt here 25 megawatt now i can increase the power to 100 megawatt for this 100 megawatt here again you can see the difference in power one is 43 the other one is 57 i can increase again to make both the power flow in both the lines are equal here 50 megawatt here 50 megawatt at the angle of 10.5 degree here this angle is what is called phase shifting angle alpha and we can note down the angle at the both the end of the buses
here the angle is tools run here the angle del that is a power angle between the infinite bus and the generator bus it is equal to 23.53 here the power flow happens in the first line is 50 megawatt as at the angle of 23.53 but in the second line it is uh, the difference of 23.53 and 10.5 degree angle here you can note down you can adjust the power you can see the variation of power in the line by adjusting the phase shifting angle 65 65 130 megawatt power is uh, flowing in this line from this we can conclude uh, a tap changer is used in a PST to vary the polarity and the magnitude of the series of voltage the tunnel comes under the theory I here I am not discussing more about the theory but here used with the help of this uh, PST power uh, phase shifting transformer we can change the the power flow happens in the line if a change of megawatt flow is desired the tap changer is adjusted to accomplish the desired change. Here this table shows the solution of the above problem. Here we can see here the receiving and sending in voltage both are equal to 1 per unit. Here we can note down the power which is transmitted from the generator end to the infinite bus is increasing with the increase of the power angle at the same time uh, alpha the angle of the phase shifting transformer also increasing for the increase of power uh, which shows that uh, that uh, here we can make the equal amount of power flow in both the lines by adjusting the alpha of phase shifting transformer that is the conclusion of this lecture the phase shifting transformer helps us to adjust or make a more or less equal uh, power flow in both the line of double transmission line even though there is a difference in the reactance in the line